welcome to the Maths Studios. So like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications. Happy learning. Okay, in today's video we are going to find the surface area of a triangular based prism. Now a triangular based prism is a prism, is a 3D shape whose two faces are triangles and the rest of the three faces are the lateral faces that are rectangles. Now if you see the 3D model of this triangular prism, the top and bottom face are, tri are triangles. However, the three lateral faces are rectangles. Alright. So, finding the surface area of a triangular base prism, again, let me tell you that there are two faces, the top or bottom face that are going to be the triangles, right, the triangular faces and there are three rectangular faces which are also called the lateral faces. So, if I want to find the surface area of this triangular prism, I need to know that I have to find the area of five 2D shapes. Surface area? All right. Now, let's move on to the formulas. Let's draw a line and write the formulas. The formula for finding the area of a triangle is half multiply by base multiply by perpendicular height. And the formula for finding the area of rectangle is length multiply by breadth. All right. Now let's see in the triangle what is the base? What is the measurement of the base of the triangle? The measurement for the base is 16 meters. All right. The half perpendicular height is going to be 15 meters. So let's substitute the values in the formula. Half multiply by base that is 16 meters multiply by height that is 15 meters. Now if I can cancel any number over here I will cancel like for example 2 1 times is 2 and 2 8 times is 16 so 8 multiply by 15 is equals to 120 square meters or 120 meter squares. So this is the area of one triangle or you can see this is the area of uh, the top triangle. Now there is one more triangle in this 3D shape. So I am going to multiply 120 meter squares by 2. So this means that now I am going to find the area of two triangles. So 120 multiplied by 2 is going to be 240 meters square or square meters. All right. Now let's come on to the area of rectangles since I told you that they, this shape is made up of three rectangular faces which are also called the lateral faces. Right. So this isosceles triangle has two same side measurements 17 meters and 17 meters and the base is 16 meters right so let's now substitute the values in the formula now the length of the first rectangle is 17 and the breadth of the rectangle is 11 so now i'm going to write area of two rectangles because they are same in isosceles triangle both have same measurements so length is going to be 17 and breadth is going to be 11 so i'll multiply 17 multiply by 11 is going to be all right this is going to be 187 square meters or meters square but now I have to find the area of the other rectangle which is the same so I have to multiply this 187 by 2 
so my answer is going to be 374 square meters or meter squares all right so since these two rectangles have same measurements so I have calculated the area of them together now the area of the third rectangle which is at the base now the rectangle which is at the base it's one measurement the length of it is 16 meters however the breadth of this is 11 so 16 multiply by 11 and uh, let me calculate what is 16 multiply by 11 so this is going to be 176 square meters or meter square all right now comes the very very important part and that is to find the total surface area of this triangular paste prism so I'm going to take all the five faces the area of five faces that I have calculated and uh, I'm going to add all of them so the total surface area of the triangular prism is equals to I can write over here um, 240 plus 374 plus 176 is equals to 790 square meters and this is my answer hope you have understood it